What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This is the travel vlog home. We've got about a 30 minute boat ride to the dock, then about a 30 minute boat ride or truck ride to the house, and then a five hour ride to the airport. Oh, Sway. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You ready? You're waiting on me, you're backing up. Babe, Coming. tell him this is like, yeah, Come put on. your butt into it. Put the back into it. There you go. We knew you could do it. I don't need a permit for these guns. <laughs> These Panga boats are insanely durable. Just awesome boats. They hold tons of weight. They go through rough seas. If I didn't already have a, an obsession with boats and had too many, I'd get one of these too. But it's a toss up. Do I get a jet boat or a Panga now? Panga. There's seven days of adventure in that backpack right there on one little hard drive. And a lot of money. What's crazy is how warm the water looks. And that's very not true deceiving deceiving <laughs> not I was, true i was looking for that word deceiving yeah. you had so fun hot. austin hey, it's so cold that, that seagull's trying to stand on the ball look at him it's a big old he's seagull. like dude my feet are freezing because my head's hot my feet are freezing hasta luego my way you put some soul into that I mean, get it down and burn his tail feathers. What's happening? We're about to have fun with a little coyote on the beach. Dry, you better be glad I don't have a rifle. You better be recording the whole time. Oh, this is freaking crazy. And he's like, what the? He sees it coming. Stand up, it's going in a, oh, dude, you were lucky. I lost connection, I had nothing. He's running. <laughs> I ran right into the water. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Wait, he just... <laughs> He's like, bro, this eagle's chasing me. Shoot. He's freaking serpentine. You see him? I'm losing him. He ran into the water. The lost him. Oh, there he is. Our first Mexican coyote. <laughs> Mexican coyote. You were within one foot of the water. Less than a foot of water. Oh my gosh, she's got quick hands. I get so scared doing that. Talk about an average ride back. I don't even know if Kelly had the camera rolling yet. I threw this in while he's talking. Just it, I didn't even feel it. Show him that. There you go. And that's what's... And I just caught a, a halibut. There you go. When I left, Kelly and I were packing, and it's funny because Robert and I didn't discuss this together, but we both brought some inshore stuff. And I happen to bring this bag of gulp shrimp. I'm gonna turn loose, Gabe. I'm like, I thought I was hung up. Yeah. But as I said, that is an aquaculture farm. They're growing oysters there. They're making an, a living. But at the same time, they're creating habitat. While I was swimming along, I saw halibut. I even saw a little a yellowtail, sea bass, all kinds of cool stuff. And now. They on the they're one? they're literally right in the in the lane in between them. I don't want to get hung up on that rope you're talking about. No. You can see the way the, the rope runs. Can you pull in there a little tighter? Yeah. Like back up and pull right into the lane. There you go. Oh. There you go. It's got another one. Well, this, why didn't we come here earlier? <laughs> two halibuts for Blue Gabby. That's two casts and two halibuts. Literally. 
<laughs> I would have seen this is everybody talked about Mag Bay. Come on, fish. Marlin and Wahoo and big giant grouper. The heck with all of that stuff. Put me out here doing this kind of thing. Let's see if I, if I catch one more. If you just go up here and catch maybe four more, I'll hand the rod off. So this is my favorite old salty rod, favorite reel. And I'm leaving it for the guys just so that, cause it's so hard for them to get stuff. And these things are such nice setups. Yeah. And they're versatile for everything. He was slow pitch jigging with it. I got something big. I got a double. You got another a double? double? Look at oh that. Oh my goodness. Cool. Dang. There's Those fish now. <laughs> yeah. Look at this though. Oh gosh. Oh my, not only do we not need bait, but we're catching them two at a time. Well, you've got, hey, here, there's fish. What were you going to say? That's a sand bass and a cabrilla. So Toby, who owns this lodge that we're staying at, he's got a bunch of guys that work with him, and they all love to eat fish. So we're literally filling the box. And you know what I want to do, Gabe? I literally want to take some of these fish, fillet them out, and just go give them to some people around yeah. town that need fish. What do we have here? Look at this lonker. Look at that lonker. Dang. Son. These look just like our groupers. But they look like Goliath groupers. Look at how nice it is. It's like, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. It's, you name it, that's a great rod. I want though, like you and Kev, the one thing I haven't done on this trip, I haven't caught a big one. Robert and Kelly both have speared big ones. Hey Gabe, what? there's room for only one winner. <laughs> I think I got him on the hawkfish though. He's got me on the hawkfish. This whole trip was all about being versatile. Gabe did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. That's a bigger one. Hey, I'll just sit here and catch flounders. Hey, straight out of Compton, eat your heart out, boy. Eat your heart out. So straight out of Compton's a good friend of mine. That's his Instagram name, and he's a big time flounder fisherman. They're probably seeing it. And I wish we could have the underwater footage. You know they're seeing it and just rushing over. I could. I guarantee I could see him from the drone. I'm just doing a vlog video. How crazy <laughs> is that? We're vlogging our way home. We done chased a coyote. All kinds of stuff. If I could write down on a piece of paper all the different species of fish I've caught on this exact rod and big alligators, it would be impressive. I would die to have my new pro drive boat with all the lights and come down through here gigging. Oh my god. We gotta go do some of that. We're gonna be doing that soon. Got That's him. a good one there. That's a good one there. Hell a bit! Whoa, come over here. I'm all clean, showered. Let me tell you about the very first flounder I ever caught. I made the very bad decision of sticking my finger in there. And those teeth lit me up. Here. Day. No, I mean, look, just let me hold it for a second. What y'all don't realize is that's probably a 13 or 14 Ooh. inch flounder. That's a nice fish. No, man, let's go. Pull up one more time, please. <laughs> let me try to get lower this time. Yeah, pull up to Stay that. Stay to your left. left. These guys can drive these pangas and keep them where they want them, just like we can do with the trolling motor. It's so impressive. Neutral. See that big bite? <laughs> <laughs> got him! <laughs> hey, we just got the master. Hey, I'm going to tell you all right now, in a nanosecond, Gabe was just talking about me and Kelly got bigger flounder than him. In the very instant I felt that, I'm like, oh, he don't even know nothing yet. <laughs> I thought I was about to pull in a 25 pounder. All right, you guys, we've had enough. I caught four or five just as quick as I could. Austin's landing the drone. I'm not even gonna pick up a camera from here to the dock because we actually need to start heading that away. 
We'll see y'all there. All right, I lied. We didn't make it 400 yards and we stopped again because they're doing something very interesting. Those are the, I found like kind of the pants yeah. that were the They call those cherry stones. My lobster video, you'll see him cracking those big clams together. That's what the clam, that's what these guys are catching is that big clam. There's a diver down there. That's what the air compressor is for. He doesn't have a tank on that. Compressor is pumping air down to him. He's just collecting them, and these guys are pulling them up, sending him a new basket, and he keeps on going. been the most interesting boat ride of my life. It was meant to be just to bring us from the island to the mainland. We stopped and chased a coyote, caught flounder, and watched some commercial clamors. And we're back. Land ho, Kelly Young, with a frigate bird right over your head. <laughs> You know what's funny about that, Robert? Is all these big boat trailer companies in the U.S. can't build one that'll last a year and a half. That trailer you just saw was probably 70 years old and still kicking. <laughs> Getting drug up a dirt ramp. Ain't yeah. never been washed off in the history of ever. I can assure you the boat trailer I bought with my blackjack ain't worth owning after watching that. Look at the parking lot. This ain't Sands Red Park. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do they get them up there? This is crazy. Robert, look how they got the trailers. <laughs> That's anti-theft. Mom, look at that pretty bougainvillea. There's your fighting chickens. Boyo! Somebody done stole his tires last night. What you got? Yeah, what you got? Did you see the pile of crabs in there? No. They had Let's a pile go look. Of crabs. They had a pile of crabs like five feet tall. Something interesting. Yeah. We're just inviting ourselves in. <laughs> were they crabs or were they? Crabs. Hey, congrejos. Blue oh, crabs. Suave. Look at the crabs in the back. <laughs> Ask him, can we go in there and look at them crabs? Dude, it just keeps getting more interesting. Grande. Those are males. 
we were just driving by and I looked in there. I'm like, yeah, we got to look at that. Wait, 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 wait. That dog's kind of protective. Peek around the corner and look at what's behind. <laughs> look at this thing. Puppies. You might not want to get too close. It's a bunch of little puppies, but she's kind of protective. Got a bulldog right there. That look at the cute little one back there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go pet him. That dog would eat you. That is very rare to see a pit that is friendly that has pups. She's beautiful too. I, don't, I actually don't think they're hers. They I, think it, like I think it was the other dog. Yeah. That one just had puppies. That one. She's yeah. got saggy boobies. Yeah, but the, the other dog looks much like her. You're gonna get to find out what an operating room in Mexico feels like from dog chewing your arm off. Come here, <laughs> grab it, Austin. I don't want it. The, I'm telling you, the mom went in there. Hey, poopy. Oh my goodness. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, she's hey. Oh, I'm in love right now. Her and Redneck would be best buds. That's like the perfect size. Can we take her? Come on, babe. She's so perfect. At what point do we end this vlog? <laughs> we ain't even close. We haven't even got Hey, back off, Chico. Your one ear is broke. You're not bad. <laughs> Come on, let's go, y'all. Damn rat, boys. And we're back where it all began. Now below the white van. Oh, you rhyming over here, yeah. huh? you guys this is the end of this vlog video from here we're gonna jump in a van and drive five hours back these are the two that made this whole trip possible Toby and Joseph you got anything you want to say no great trip you know we reached out to one another about three four weeks ago Gabe and Kelly were at my house we said we're going and we came just with no expectations left our expectations at the door and it's been non-stop. Y'all have all done crazy things, we've done crazy things, and we've had a crazy time together. Unbelievable. You guys, come here. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, it's pretty epic, man. It's unbelievable. And we didn't even do what we came to do. We came here because there's millions of marlin. Well, between bad weather and the marlin moving, hey, we missed it. But the cool thing about that is, typically if you go somewhere to do something and that's not possible, your trip is terrible. We had a great trip still. We, I mean, on the way from the other house to here, we caught a bunch of halibut, saw clams and all kinds of other cool stuff. So it's not like, and there's an endless opportunity here. In all of our videos, all of Kelly's videos, my videos and his videos, go below the video in the links below and all their information will be in each video. So there's no excuse to say you didn't know where it was at. We'll yeah. put it all there. But for right now, just want to thank you guys. I fish with Joseph a lot and Toby. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Both great guys, great people, great crew. This lodge is amazing. We stayed here the first two nights, then we stayed in their other lodge out there the last four nights. Let, let's just take your, what do you think? What do I think? Overall, quick as you can. Overall, incredible, undescribable. I felt as safe as I, I've ever been, honestly. And just an amazing trip. Show them that point of that island right there. That's the tip of Mag Bay. We're in the pass right now, which takes you back to the area that we're sleeping the lodge and out there's where all the marlin are in the pacific open ocean and hawaii and i think japan's on the other side and we're gonna drop these down and see what we can catch but we're using these jigs called johnny jigs they're literally as simple as you drop them down pull them up drop them down and pull them up you can reel them fast reel them slow and they catch fish oh, got one doubled up huh Hold on, let's see what I got. Let I got something pretty color. good. Oh, look at this. Scorpion. Scorpion fish. Oh, oh. yeah, that's good eating. Stop. Hey, can you eat these? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have those at home. Actually, 
I have one of those in my fish tank that Dave, I caught. Can you eat these? Yeah, put them in here. I'll eat them. You know, I ate sucker fish in the Snake River and <laughs> look at black this. goes out of Lake Okeechobee. Look I guarantee you it tastes as good as a grouper. Hold on, hold on. These things are very poisonous. Oh, are you uh, hooked up uh, too? Yeah. You know they're biting hey, now. This is not fair right now. <laughs> hold on. Kelly, look here though. <gasps> what is this? A, what is a that? Fish or no, that's a sheep's head. Yeah. Oh, this is what we tried to catch in Maryland, right? See it? Yeah. What is it good? Yeah. Yeka? Hey, we it were... tastes like lobster. It tastes blue. like lobster. Soup, too. It's the best <gasps> in the soup. That's so cool. That. So our captain here just said that these fish are the best in a soup. Kelly actually loves making fish Guess soup. Look at oh. look what he caught. I, dude, where oh my All goodness, a trigger. Stuff. Trigger fish. Wow. Hey, and if you don't notice, <laughs> Toby's a Are you hooked up, up too? Oh Bob, my goodness. Why are you on my side? Look, I'm just, you're my brother. I'm allowed to be here. <laughs> What'd you sure get? You, get this one. you ready? Yes. Yeah, buddy. <gasps> oh my <laughs> gosh. Are you serious? That's how it's done, guys. Wow, what are the odds of that? <laughs> that is perfect. And look, it's two different. It's a cabrilla and a sand bass. A cabrilla and a sand bass. <laughs> That's insane. Babe, you don't even have to cut this. We're in like... Well, that depth finder's in meters, so I have no idea how deep <laughs> we are. We're about 60 feet if I had to guess. Yeah. Tied on four of these jigs. All of us have a different style rod on, and we're doing work. We already have more than we need to eat, and we haven't been fishing five minutes. So we need to pull up and do one more drift. <laughs> we are so addicted to fishing. So for those of y'all that haven't saw my first couple videos here in Mexico we flew into Cabo San Lucas drove up to Mag Bay Sport Fishing Lodge Toby who you just watched catch a double he owns it got the best captains really nice boats really good chefs this trip the the ride through the desert slash mountains was insane the beauty out here is insane we've already caught big yellow tails win-win in my situation all day every day First one up with a fish, doesn't have to do dishes. The weather here in Mexico right now is insanely beautiful. No clouds in the sky, it's about 75 degrees. Right now it's probably 70, but it's been about 75 all day. Oh yeah. There he is. I told you there's one rock right here. Every time we get near it, we catch him. Oh, I got something little. I had a nice one right there. Come on, fish. Look, how many, <laughs> did, I've definitely never caught whatever the heck this is, but look how small it is compared to that jig. No telling what that is. See you later, buddy. I gotta hurry up for him. Oh yeah, I don't have to do dishes, guys. Does camera girl have to do dishes? No, because you're filming. <laughs> the current's screaming around the point of this island right here. And there's, oh, oh nice dang, Robert's done bowed up on a big one. What I love is the diversity. We could go marlin fishing, yellowtail fishing. It's just, it's endless. Nice Dang, one. that's a nice Ooh. one. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Put him Beautiful in fish. the ice. Hey, one always has to go back. What? <laughs> I think we have enough though. What do you guys think? Time to go back and make some fish, eat some food. Some fresh tortillas. I think I need to make one more drop though. We will see y'all back at the dock. I'd show you the ride in, but it's gonna be dark. We're here for... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh never mind. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. 
Up, doubled up. Mine's itty bitty, whatever. Whoa, whatever it is. Actually, I need to show them a better. Look at, talk about Ooh. mackerel. You guys, oh for those gosh. of y'all that have oh, seen yeah. my shark <laughs> video that <laughs> Kelly took me on, <laughs> these are what we speared that day. And I will assure you that they're good eating. Okay. You Look. Wanna know where the bait is? <laughs> right here. <laughs> these are what we were trying to catch for bait this morning and couldn't find. I'm telling you, I cook these insanely good to eat. Come over here though and look at this awesome fish I caught. Robert, explain to him what it is because I have no idea. What is it? The sheep's head looking Oh good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all didn't turn it loose on me, did you? Here it is. It does look like a type of hogfish. It looks just like a hogfish. Yeah. So cool. Ooh, I like some kind of so rice. that's called a Pacific sheep's head. And if you fillet them, they taste a lot like lobster. They're gonna have a very unique flavor and texture. Okay, let's boogie, y'all. Hey. Captain, do you know how to get back in the dark? You yeah. can make it back? <laughs> if we're lucky. I wanna see this. Thing. I need to get a thumbnail. All right, we got that awesome thumbnail. You already know it, you've already seen it. So I got a new Danko knife. They're getting ready to run a bunch of sales and this awesome knife is less than $10. This fish is super deadly, and that's why I'm using this long knife, and I'll show you why. I don't have to get my hands anywhere near those spines. I hold him just like this, poke it through, and do it just like that. Whenever you're cleaning anything poisonous, stay away from the poisonous area. And that's the fun fact of the week. Guarantee you this fish tastes amazing. I bet it tastes just like grouper. Super easy to clean. Boy, these guys here in Mexico, they like loudspeakers and no exhaust. Look at that. Done. But here is what the fuss is all about. This is the coolest fish I've caught in a long time. Robert said they taste like lobster. Really thick, dense, big old fat flay. Look at that meat though. Holy cow. Looks like hogfish. I think this will probably be the best tasting one of all of them. Anytime you see me clean anything, when I get ready to skin it, I leave just a little bit for my fingers to hold on. And more than pushing with the knife, I'm pulling with the flay itself. Just like that. Dude, tell me that ain't gonna be just like hogfish. No bloodline. You guys, we've got Pacific sheep's head, scorpion fish, whatever you call these spotty pokey dotty things. <laughs> Whatever you call these things that look like largemouth bass, and we're gonna have one heck of a fish cookout, but not right now. Right now we're going to bed, because we gotta do tomorrow, or we gotta do today all over again tomorrow.